Alright, let's go see Jupiter. Ah, wow. There's a lily floating in the water. The front door is unlocked. Oh, what's this? The back door. The back door. Is that an alarm? Might go off under the wrong code. Be better be careful. Door opens easily. Well, if it opens easily, let's just... Oh, cool. I can just sort of mosey on in the back door. Maybe I should not immediately screw around back here. Oh, it's, it's far too low. Oh my god, there's so many areas. Oh my god. It's too much pressure. Let me, let me out. Let me out of here. It's too so scary. It's so scary. Shut up, you're so loud. What was the point of the back door? Oh my god. Front door, back door. Okay, so there are two options. Let's go to the main lab. Is it messed up that I thought of that in terms of like the actual burden on me it would have if I were to go up the stairs before coming down for something else? I have to go down anyway. What? That's not logically consistent. This microscope is probably expensive. There's nothing on the slide. There's a box of tissues. Not too exciting. So petri dishes with some sort of gel in them. Is there something growing in here? A binder filled with scribbled notes. The handwriting is near indecipherable. A laptop labeled property of University of Edgewater. Looks kind of old. Small microscope. There's nothing on it. Roll bottles filled with some sort of liquid. They're all labeled with really long words. These appear to be machines of some sort. I'm not sure what they do, but I'm sure they're expensive. The row of printers against the wall. The first one has a blinking red light. What's wrong with your printer? Ignore it. It broke nearly half a year ago, but we rarely touch it. Dr. Johansson is the only one who keeps trying to use it. The screen on the printer reads, One print job in queue. Did Dr. Johansson try to print something? It may have been important. If I fix the printer, I can see what he was working on. I glance at Jupiter. I probably shouldn't try to fix this thing while she's still here. She mentioned wanting to check up, check up on Aaron. I bet I could convince her to go see him, but I don't know how much time that will buy me. Is there a way to stall her after she leaves? Yes, Aki. You can text people. A row of sinks is a collection of beakers in the pile in one. Alright, so before I start with this chicanery, chances weirding me out it might be a good idea to keep a close eye on it. Yeah, that's fair. Everyone's here. It was an accident. Oh, everyone here seems to think Dr. Johansson's death was an accident. Sad face. Come talk. Uh oh. If you see anything out of place, tell me first. Alright, so I'm not doing that yet. Ooh, wee. What a season. I'll talk to her a little first. Um, hey. Hey, Kong guy. Looking for something? Yeah, you actually. Mission accomplished. Can I help you with something? Just wanted to talk. About? Dr. Johansson. Jupiter leans and folds her arms. About his death, you mean? Did you see the body? I nod. How was it? How did he die? Ooh, what should I tell her? Do we trust Jupiter? Do we know? Because remember, this was Kevin's trigger. If we suspect Jupiter is the murderer. I don't know what Dr. Johansson's physical condition was. But Jupiter doesn't seem exceptionally powerful. So I don't know if she'd be able to overpower him. But she wanted to well, it was an opportunity, so it wasn't a drugging. Do I maintain the lie? I'm gonna, I'm gonna double down on my original... It looks like he was killed on purpose. Murder? Well, yeah. Uh, maybe. I mean, it could have been an accident. Not likely. He was a careful man, and had no reason to be in the bell tower in the first place. This all seems very deliberate. I'm inclined to agree with your assessment. There you go, now I'm just less suspicious. She sighs and crosses her arms across her, shit, her chest. This is bad. Yeah, I, I would agree. How so? She raises an eyebrow at me. Because a great man just passed away in a tragic way? Well, yeah, but the tone, your tone of implied. Oh, yeah. Way to go, man, as if you can make it any more obvious that this is normal for you. She probably thinks I'm some kind of sociopath now. What about Eren? How is he doing? Uh, then again, people don't say this is bad. They'd say something like, this is terrible, how could this happen, you know? No, like, this is bad. This is bad means that something is conspiring against your situation or plans. Not so well. I should probably visit him sometime to see how he's doing. He didn't look very happy when I last saw him. I think he just wants to sleep for a bit. Yes, put put a break on that until I can settle He deserves water. some rest. 
know why someone would want Dr. Johansson dead? So you really don't think it was an accident then? Nah, no, see, either way. We'll... Honestly, I don't know what to think. It's entirely possible that this was an accident. Is it? Maybe a heart attack? His heart is still experimental after all. He had a fake heart? Partially. It was built from a reproduction of his own tissue, but some parts were manufactured. Do tell me more about this heart! Wasn't Otten Engineering working on something like that? They're the ones funding most of our research. William Alton donated a lot of money to this school. I think he cared a lot for his alma mater. The heart was still in testing stages, but Dr. Johansson's heart was in such a bad state, he decided to take the risk. As strange as the circumstances of his death are, I'm hard-pressed to think of anyone who would want to kill him. She seems to be giving me a lot of information if she were the actual murderer. So you and Chance don't get along? What makes you think that we don't get along? I don't know, that contempt radiating off of you? Her voice oozes with sarcasm. Okay, bad question. No, it's a fair question. Just not a pleasant thing for me to discuss. She stole your boyfriend. Sorry, forget I asked. No, it's fine. If you stick around, you'll find out about it sooner or later. I'd rather you hear it from me instead of over the rumor train. Chance is an undergrad who was given special permission to join Dr. Johansson's team. I argued against it, but David vouched for her. She's certainly smart enough to work on the project, but she lacks emotional and mental maturity. maturity. She behaves like a child when things don't go her way, and she's manipulative. More than once, the girl has tried to pit members of the team against each other with gossip and lies. Why was she sabotaging it? Oh, for cover, smoke screens. How so? Last year, Sean stepped down as head of Dr. Johansson's lab, said his work for the school was taking up too much time. Chance told me I'd be a perfect replacement, and she encouraged me to petition Dr. Johansson for the spot. But you got it. I did. Then I discovered Chance told Nathan that the spot should have been his since he has seniority. She told him that if I hadn't pressured Johansson into picking me, he would have had it. I tried to smooth it over with him, but I think he's still a little bit hurt. Oh. And of course, it's gotten worse ever since I started dating David. What? She and David used to be together. After they broke up, David and I started seeing each other. She was so mad at him, she threw hot coffee in his face. Ouch. After that happened, I asked Dr. Johansson to remove her. Oh, She's that's destructive. Right. That's right, that's right. Her boyfriend was Sean. I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, is, is David two-timing them? No, no, it's okay. But she's still here. Yes. I see. If she were willing to take her work seriously, I'd appreciate having her around. But right now, it feels more like she's trying to tear us apart. There isn't a member of this group she hasn't tried to manipulate in one way or another. Thanks. We'll talk later. You know where to find me. Hmm. So we got that Lee May, but first let's check the sleep lab. The lamp, not particularly exciting. Push on this Yeah, no loose change here either. The chair doesn't look like many people have used it. It would be my loose change anyway. Alright. Oh no, I just made things harder for myself. Now I gotta go through here. Uh, anything I can pick up? No. Alright, so we got the come talk prompt. So forget the student union, let's talk. Hey, if I get Jupiter to visit, can you stall her for me? Stall? You know, keep her busy. Talk to her and stuff. I am not skilled at talking. You can talk with me just fine. You are not the same. How so? You are family. Then think of this as a mission. This is part of solving the case. Aaron's still resting right now, but as soon as he's ready, I'll send Jupiter your way. Can I count on you? I will not fail. <laughs> Determination. Okay. I love Lee Mae so much. I don't, I, honestly, I don't even care if the rest of them get a spin-off series. I just want, I want like a TV show of Lee May. I need her. Oh, well, look at the crowd we even asked here. Let's take a around, look around first. Slow-powered light bulb. Couch sags in the middle. Is it broken? What is job it is to water these? Pot plant. Yeah, that's it. Uh... I shouldn't just go rolling by my boy. 
Hey, how are you feeling? I'm coping. That doesn't sound too positive. You, you sure you shouldn't be, still be back at the room resting? If I stay locked up thinking about it, it'll just get worse. I don't know how much physical rest helps emotional problems anyway. But then again, I'm a weirdo. I can't use myself as a comparison for this type of thing. It may not be my conse, but I can still feel Aaron's emotions when I'm near. Oh. I have to be here, around people with more positive he emotions. He explicitly found this guy because he's super positive. Having bright memories will help balance the darker ones. How I feel is a culmination of my experiences, so I have to keep filling my life with positive things. That makes sense. Really? So, do you watch horror movies or anything? No, not really. They've never really held much interest for me, though. I've seen enough terrible things in real life. There's no need for me to watch it as entertainment. I mean, you could argue that maybe if you desensitize yourself, because your perspective is still part of it, but... No, I think he's more of a cat videos type of guy. Are you okay with talking about what happened then? I don't want to have to bring up bad memories. The memories are always there, and I'd like to do what I can to help. I don't want to have to hide all the time. Oh, interesting. This one wasn't unlocked before. Should I really delve? Yeah, he was expecting it now. I should get him all his guards up. Like you said, you guys had a rough time with your father. That's putting it lightly. Sorry, I didn't mean to bring up any bad memories. You can't bring up any memories. They're always in my mind. That's kind of terrifying. I mean, I remember once I read a description of how a crystal-eyed dragon would see it. It was like, oh, everything would be in focus all at once. It's like a photograph that your eyes can't actually do. But he has the same thing for memories. All of the memories are up at once. How the hell do you even... How does that work cognitively? Yeah, I'm sorry. It's not your fault. I simply am who I am. When our mother died, our father didn't handle it too well. He took to drinking, and eventually, it was all he knew how to do. All that pent-up rage of his had to go somewhere. Man, alcoholism. I don't know, alcoholism is always a symptom, though. It's like, the person's an angry person, and they have this... I don't know what people are convinced alcohol will give them. I guess it's a depressant, it's like a dulling thing on negative emotions. But of course, it just makes you less rational about how you vent them. I am not an expert on this. I don't know what I'm talking about. And you bore the brunt of it? I did. At least until Aki discovered her Kansei. She wasn't strong enough to stop him, but she managed to redirect his anger. Redirect it? To whom? Who else was there? I'm so sorry. Aki's proud. She tries to carry the weight of everyone on her own shoulders. Even back then, she never wanted to accept help from anyone. So, I went to one of the teachers at school in secret, begged her for help. The teacher called Child Protective Services, but they wouldn't let us stay together. Why not? That's insane! So we ran away. Yeah, that's reasonable, actually. What? Why? Is that real? Does that happen? Just like that? Of course. Wouldn't you have done the same thing? Yeah, I think I would. Hey, mind if I ask you something? Go ahead. Why are you telling me this? It's kind of a personal story, isn't it? Isn't it obvious? It's because you're family. Aw, oh, jeez. What? You're living with us now, aren't you? Yeah, but I didn't think... You don't plan on staying with us? I, I don't know. I hadn't really thought about it. Well, you should. Aki and I thought we'd be running forever. Same goes for Lee Mei. But it turns out we like having a home, and a family. It's less lonely. 